Need a quick score in the end zone? Use this play five yards out for an easy touchdown. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also this notification icon so you can get my regular uploads. All right, so guys, I just want to go ahead and talk about um, a play that I've been labbing in the red zone. Uh, it will be pretty much all coverages, stock coverages in the game um, when it comes to zone coverages. So it will be cover two, it will keep be cover three, and it will be cover four in five yards or in uh, to the red zone. So if you're about five yards out, this is a good play to jump into. Now, this is the, the name of the play is Z Option. And if you see the play art, it's pretty much identical except for the wide receiver on the left-hand side. Either, either he's doing a stop and go or he's doing a little hitch route. Uh, regardless, I'm not really concerned about the wide receiver on the left-hand side. He's a dead route to us. We're really focused on the three-route combination. Off to the right, we'll get separation against coverage in the red zone. So you can find this in the Bagels, Browns, Steelers, Bears, Titans, Bills, Redskins, Broncos, Chiefs, Seahawks, Rams, Chargers, and Dolphins. Now, the great thing about this is a single back, and most of these single back actually have a quick toss that you can throw into your scheme. So it really gives you a lot of flexibility. Uh, and we're going to basically watch everything on the right right hand side and go uh, take our reads from there. Now, what's cool about this particular play is how uh, the outside receiver Lee on the right hand side. Uh, gets open against most cover two coverages the defender doesn't fall there so it's going to force your opponent to go ahead and use her that particular route so what's cool about it is a lot of people util utilize cover two in the red zone because they want to protect the flats they want to get uh, basically defenders down in the box and this is where you can actually go ahead and, and beat your opponent for an easy completion and it's on the far side of the uh, it's actually on the outside of the hash marks uh, so uh, you might be able to go ahead and get, get away with that a quick shot like that uh, to get an easy separation an easy touchdown against your opponent. So this is great to go ahead and throw into a mini scheme in the red zone, especially against cover two spammers. You could just go ahead and basically throw this ball deliberately, force your opponent to go back uh, to actually use this route, which he probably won't be ready for if you hit him with it the first time out. So what about cover three? Well, this is where uh, that little hitch route comes in handy. Um, in this particular situation, you'll be able to go ahead and pop that route for an easy completion. So let's see if we can hold our blocks against it. So a little hitch route. And as you can see, you actually get separation. So that's a little bit further out now if he jumps into cover three that you can throw that route. So a hitch and a cover three. You just want to get rid of that ball really quick, uh, make that fast read. So if you if your guy gives you a cover two shell, you look to the inside route if it's taken away, then you know that hitch route should be wide open. Now what about cover four? Well, I wouldn't expect a lot of opponents to run a cover four uh, down to the red zone, but if they do, actually this actually provides, actually gives you some kind of uh, some headaches, but. I've noticed with cover four, this outside route will actually get uh, covered up. So the problem with running against running against someone who's using cover four is that your first progression is going to be Lee, then it's going to be Paul, and then your final progression is going to be this route because the defender actually goes out in the area uh, or pulls out of the area against us. So I want to show you where cover four could cause you some problems down in the red zone. I don't expect a lot of opponents, at least good players, to use this but if you're following this route first you'll see this gets covered up then you're going to be looking to this route you're going to see that's actually covered up and then finally this route should be wide open but you can actually do a, a, an unfortunate pass that's going to be uh, not close enough to the sideline so you're going to have to try to read that quickly uh, make sure you pick up your opponent's tendencies but you still can get an easy completion so once again I'm a subscriber thank for your support this is actually a Patreon request I'll be breaking down um, some additional uh, a red zone uh, plays out of the single back bunch formations, either the ace bunch or the, the base bunch uh, formations, and try to show you which plays are out there. So to my subscribers, thank you for your support. Make sure you smash that like button if you do, do like these type of tips. And until next time, guys.